Good evening. I imagine you can probably hear that. That is the wind. There is a reason why I'm doing my intro inside the car. Um, and that is because the wind is shaking the entire car. And I'm not sure that you're going to be able to hear a word I say once we get outside. That wobbling on the camera right now? Yep, that's the car shaking. Just listen to that wind. <laughs> that is pretty savage. But hopefully, hopefully it's going to create some interesting conditions for the sea. I've probably headed up to the worst place on the island I could have. Um, the wind at the moment is coming from the northeast. Um, I'm heading down, oh, I'm up on the north coast and I'm going to be heading down to a little bay. Now, the name of this place, I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce, but here's the name here. There we are. If you can work it out, let me know. Let me know. I don't have a clue. But anyway, I am going to get some waterproof trousers on and head outside and hopefully hopefully all of this clouds and drama that suddenly just arrived in the sky um, blows off and i'll be able to see a little bit more of the sunset fingers crossed anyway right wishes luck i'm not sure how this is going to go Microphone might be crackling a little bit, but check out the god rays! Oh my god, that is beautiful! If I manage to find a composition with them involved, that's me, I'm happy. I will stay around for sunset, but if I manage to get that with something decent, I am one happy camper. Um, but what I'm looking at so far though, I've got these interesting rock piles here of basalt. They're almost like little islands. And then I've got a beautiful coastline off in that direction. So what I might do is hop over the fence and see what I can find. Hopefully something to get them god rays. I think I've got something and it's epic. I hope, anyway, it looks pretty good to me right now. Uh, whether I can make it work in a composition, that's a different matter altogether. But wait until you see this. Idea, great. Actuality, woo. But what I am doing now is I'm just watching these big waves and finding out how high they come. Because as you well know, I do not want to get caught out by one of these big waves and some of them are blooming huge. Check this out. So I have got a lot of moisture in the air which is causing big issues. So I have put my waterproofing sack on top followed by a piece of sock and that holds everything together and hopefully keeps everything 
pretty waterproof. So like I said before, I've got this beautiful flat bit of rock here and every so often the big wave is coming up and washing down and that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for these hella waves that are just creating some beautiful lines coming down this flat bit of rock. Here comes one now and I'll show you what I'm doing. So as soon as it's about to hit the wave, I'm pressing the shutter button and then I'm taking a two second exposure of the water running back down and hopefully it's going to create some really nice results. All I need now is them god rays to be back in the air right in front of my screen. For my focal point I have got this little island all the way out here and that is hopefully what your eye is drawn towards. I've almost got a frame made out of this side of the wall over here and this side and look at the size of this wave coming in now. Whoa! -ho -ho! I think this might be the one. Are we ready? So I'm just going to come to the back of my camera, fire it off. And there we are. You can see the little effect left on the rocks, which looks really good. All I am missing is them God rays. So I've been stood here for about 10 minutes now. Uh, well, probably more like 20 minutes. And so far the God rays have gone. Now that I'm set up and I'm ready to capture them, they seem to have disappeared. Um, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer because if this shot works out, honestly, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. So I've got my fingers crossed, but it's not looking good not looking good at all but there is more shots to be had down here more shots indeed so I'm gonna go off I'm gonna do a bit of exploring and see what I can find I don't know if you can hear me, it is pretty loud right now and I have got some big waves on the way but that is exactly what I'm waiting for. So what I've got is I've got almost this mushroom type rock here and what's happening is the water's all around it and it looks amazing. First of all I have got my polarizer on, my medium grad filter and I've focused in on the big rock that you can see. Now what I'm using in the bottom left hand corner, the bottom right hand corner, sorry, is this rock right here, this mushroom shaped rock, which the tide is washing around and looks amazing. I've got this beautiful light off in the top left hand corner and then this one in the right, I've got this big rock and it just looks absolutely awesome. Every so often a big wave pummels across the top of it, but I don't want to be here too long for when that happens because it might end up pummeling me. But look at the size of these waves rolling in. They are absolutely tremendous. Here we go. Look at the size of this. So I'm about to get a load of water around this mushroom. And that is pretty much what I'm photographing. Here we go. Rush of that. So I've captured it coming in. And now I'm capturing it on the way back out. And look at the back of the screen. Doesn't that look beautiful? 
Oh my god, look at the size of these. So I've definitely captured that image now. And I'm going to have a walk along a little bit further and see if I can find anything else. Because at the moment, the conditions are amazing. Woo! So what I've, what I've decided for, for my final composition is I've got this lovely band of orange light through the sky but the thing that I'm going to shoot is this almost triangular green rock travelling out into the sea when the tide is on its way out as the water comes in I'll wait and then as the tide goes back out that's what I'm going to shoot as the water goes back out and I think it will look quite nice because I'm loving these little undercut sections down here and I'm loving the colour of it. I think it looks great. I'll probably sh compose it so I, it's travelling straight out towards the land on the other side and that'll be my focal point. So I've got my camera all set up. I've put my polarizer, then my medium grad filter on the front and my settings F11, L10, 2.5 per second and I'm just waiting for them big waves to roll in and then wash back out and oh my god is it looking good check this out first shot look at that look at that isn't that beautiful absolutely tremendous so all I'm going to do now is keep shooting and see how good this can get, how good these waves can be and fingers crossed I end up with a winner. This might even be the best composition yet, who knows. But that is the end of my vlog. I have three images, one of them definitely solid, two of them I'm not too sure. But I've dropped down behind this wall just out of the wind now. This is probably the first time since I've been in the car that you've probably been able to hear me. Um, it has been exciting, it has been thrilling, the waves, the water, the drama has been absolutely epic. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you have, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Uh, all the love. If you know anyone else who would enjoy this content, share it to them. Uh, anyone that's coming to Sky, you know, if you're interested in photography or if you just like exploring the island, I'm pretty sure I've been most places now. But yeah, thank you for watching and have a lovely weekend and I'll see you soon.